Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell icon so you can get notified when I publish new videos. And also don't forget to like and share. By sharing, I will be able to create more content for you. So let's get started. And uh, today we're gonna look at another multiple WordPress management system where you can manage all your WordPress websites. We're talking about Infinite WP. This is a standalone. You don't need WordPress or a dedicated WordPress installation for this. Let's have a look. There are different type of plans, starting from $247 a year upward, but it's also the free version. And this is the actual version we're gonna look at today and works with unlimited amount of websites. To get more information, just go to infinitewp.com and where you can actually find all information you need to get started. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install it as well. There are multiple ways to install it. I'm only going to use the more difficult one. So the easy one as well is going through, for example, Softaculous. In this particular case, we're going to download the file and we're going to do the installation manually. All right, so let me show you the actual Softaculous installation uh, from the control panel. Uh, this is not uh, cPanel, but it is exactly the same. Just go to Softaculous and you will see the installation. So what you want to do, um, as I'm going to divide this into parts, you can go to Softaculous and just jump directly nearly the end where I'm showing you how to add websites by clicking Infinite WP after you search for it. You just need to go, the installation is like just like WordPress or any other script that can be easily installed by Softaculous. So this is the actual first part if you want to do it automatically without, you know, doing manually like the one I'm going to show you now. So let's go back and let's go and download the script. So that one is the step one, download the IWP admin panel, and I'm gonna save it on my download folder. Now there is two ways you can actually upload it. You can use FileZilla, for example, or as I'm gonna show you here, much easier if you go to your SIP panel as well, just go to the file manager, go to the folder of your domain that you are installing the actual script and all you want to do is delete whatever is inside and upload the zip file you just downloaded from the website here we go i'm going to upload it once it has been uploaded i'm going to extract as you can see there is decompress and i'm going to click ok all right, now the next step is to delete the folder that has created. That is an empty folder and the actual zip file. There we go. Once that's been done, we go to the domain that we are going to use, refresh, and as you can see, we got the infinite WP installation panel. For this installation, we need MySQL uh, database name, database password, and database user. If you don't have it, you go to create it. And this is exactly what I'm gonna do. As you can see, I'm gonna create the database name and I'm gonna call it infinite. And I'm gonna also create the same thing for the username, infinite. And here is the actual password. Of course, this is just an installation. I will never go to show my password to no one. I'm going to make sure the privileges are correct. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to click save. So the next step is, go, is to go back to the installation and add those details. So I'm going to copy the database name and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the user. Once I'm happy with this, this I'm going to say, you know just click on the next i'm going to add my login uh credential this is important because you got to use this ones to log in to the panel so once i done that and i'm up with it i'm going to the next and 
click again next install once you're happy with the actual email if you're not you are you know just change it this is to create the infinitewp.com account of course if you have a different uh, email you want to use that's also fine as exactly how i'm doing here i'm just copying a different one and as you can see i'm pasting the one here it's totally different one from the actual one i created earlier on so anyway once that's been done i'm going forward i'm not going to say the password this is just a tutorial and once has been done i'm going to click open my admin panel and as you can see the installation is very simple quick and straightforward all i'm going to do now i'm going to log in and here we go we are inside the admin panel of the infinite wp this is the version 21564 and here you can find more information about add-ons uh, help and of course this is the actual settings this is the first part you're going to use here you can find the security system email settings the cron that you need to as well to um, update and create inside your panel security if you want for example like two-factor authentications and here is the actual settings for the cron job all you got to do is just copy the uh, the line here and you got to create the cron job inside your cpanel or again if you are like me cwp centos web panel it's very simple you just you know just say how many minutes or many uh, times a day and just paste the command and create cron as simple as that and as you can see it's already been done so again you can see the wp manager home there is correct this is the app update and how you want to do it is uh is up to you you know you sometimes you got to you know uh test how it works for your server not every server is the same but you can find a lot of information on their website if you need help so I'm going to close that one because it's done. Now, let me show you how to actually install the actual uh, plugin for WordPress. This is the client side. This is exactly the same like last time, for example. But this time we're going to uh, search for Infinite WP and we're going to press enter. We're going to do this on two different WordPress installation. Again, this is the first one. I'm going to click inst install now. While installing, I'm going on the other website as you can see we got 10 uh, updates i'm going to activate this one that's already been done while the other one is searching here we go first one's done i'm going to click install now and it should be installing in no time at all now and uh, so we can actually then start to add these two websites on the actual panel so i'm going to activate now this uh, plugin here we go so now we're going to add websites by clicking add website and all I'm going to do I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste all this information you can do it in one go but I'm just going to copy and paste each one of them so this is the admin URL the username in this case for me will be admin for you will be different one of course and make sure it's always uh, nice and you know in, in a way that cannot be easily guessed okay then I'm gonna copy the website URL and then the activation key there we go we got the activation key here and I'm going to paste it I'm going to leave everything as it is and again if you have any issues just go on their forum you can find a lot of information so i'm going to the default auto auto and i'm going to add the ip address in this case for me it will be 192.168.176 this is locally so that's what i'm going to use of course you're going to put the actual ip over the actual domain of your server and i'm going to add site i'm going to do exactly the same thing for the other website too here we go uh, he's asking now if i want to update i won't be doing this now i will be doing after when i add the second website and there we go this is the second website that i'm going to add i'm going to do exactly the same thing as before so i'll make it quick and you don't have to watch all of it
Right, the installation has been done. I'm going to update now, of course, and uh, the client plugin will be updated for both websites. There we go. As you can see here, the installation has begun for the both plugin. All right, so now that the actual uh, update of the two plugins are being completed, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the lot. But before I even start, I'm going to uh log off on both websites so i'll make sure that it looks you know properly done and uh that's it then we can actually start the installation i'm going to log out on this one as well there we go the maintenance just went on so as you can see the update has begun there on one uh, website on two websites here we go on uh, 22 plugins that is the site 001 and the OSC tutorials.com. Now it does take a little bit of time, you know, that, you know, it's not something done in a few minutes, but I'm going to speed up everything. Just look there, and we go. I just speed up a little bit the installation. And again, this the website still under maintenance, I think. Let's have a look if there we go that's back already so i'm going to log in so the actual first website has been well still uh, logging me off but i think it's just because perhaps one has not been yet um yeah it looks like one plugin still hasn't been completed the update so yeah so anyway both are there this is the file manager that's not been updated yet it might contain errors sometimes you do have errors and you got to go back to the wordpress installation to make sure to understand why it has not been uh, updated at one instance for example this one has failed it looks like the actual file has not been found on the repository so here we go this is nothing to do with the ifrit the wp so we found the reason why i go as you can see there read the update uh failed but again, nothing to worry about. Now, the first thing I'm going to show as well is the backup. You can make backup. You can schedule backup. I'm going to make a test backup now so you can actually it. So I'm going to do files and database. I'm going to exclude any file that is bigger than 10 megabytes. Again, you can change that to, to your liking. Once you're happy with all this, all you got to do is click backup now and the actual backup will start. And let's have a look at the backup. And as you can see, the test backup has already been done. 138 megabytes. You can actually download, restore or actually delete the actual backup. So again, You can actually edit the details just in case anything goes you, you know you want to try something different and that's how you do it you can change it to the ftp details the lot here you can do a lot more for example you could write a new post you can do many things and you can actually schedule it even that way you can actually schedule it for multiple websites as well if you wanted to here is the server configuration just in case you have a problem there is the status there as you can see everything is, looks good just in case you can go and have a look if anything is a little bit odd and you want to change it. So the actual installation went well and everything looks like it's working properly. So guys, thanks again for joining me for this tutorial slash review. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did creating it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already. And also please share them if you can. That will help me to create more videos and if you want, I just added a buy me a coffee button where you can donate any amount to help me keep this channel alive. Have a great day and I'll see you soon for my next tutorial.